as small world leaders continue to converge in the city of New York for the United Nations General Assembly, some agitators stand to seize this opportunity to protest at the organization's headquarters in order to gain the attention of influential personalities attending the high-level event. Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari has also arrived in the city to participate in the submit. While it is legal and democratic to hold protest, all agitators must respect the office of the President, which is the highest ranking office in the entire country. Nigeria's President must be accorded necessary respect, honor and recognition. Some of these agitators purposely traveled to the city of New York to protest against the government. This is despite the fact that the Nigerian government has provided the necessary medium for consultations, debates and negotiations, which is the National Assembly. Democracy gave the freedom for every citizen with complaints grievance or issues with the government to hold a peaceful protest without violence or disruption of public places and the peace. It is not only Nigerian agitators that use the United Nations headquarters as an avenue to protest. Citizens of other countries with grievance against their government also hold protests during the United Nations General Assembly. But they do so without disrupting public peace or embarrassing their government. Nigerian editors must shun away violence protests and embrace their diversity. This is why the UN police are usually deployed to such gatherings. All the states of the Federation have representatives in the National Assembly. It is part of the duties and responsibilities of the political elected representatives to channel the grievance of our people for deliberations and further discussion in the National Assembly. The issue of restructuring the country, that is Nigeria political system, is one of the major topics of discussion especially across social media platforms. All sorts of protest against the current political system must be within what the court or the law allows. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this that we've just heard? That as more leaders continue to converge in the city of New York for the United Nations General Assembly, some agitators tend to seize this opportunity to protest at the organization's headquarters in order to gain the attention of influential personalities attending the high-level events. Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari also has arrived in the city to participate in the submit. While it's legal and democratic to hold protests, all agitators must respect the office of the president, which is said to be the highest-ranking office in the entire country. Nigeria's president must be accorded the necessary respect, honor, and recognition. What is your thought about this? We have heard about the present situation of things still on the issue of the UN protest. And you can see agitators must respect the office of the president, which is said to be the highest ranking office in the entire country. What is your thought about this? Every president must be accorded the necessary respect, honor, and recognition. Who would like you to drop your thoughts on this pen development? Who would like you to share on point of view with us on this? You know, all those things that are happening in Nigeria is not because we want to, but because the government of Nigeria has really failed woefully. We all know that other countries also have challenges. They also have one problem or the other of which they are facing with their government. But not the kind of situation we have in this country, bordering on insecurity, you know, people be kidnapped, incessant killings, Boko Haram, you know, terrorist, bandit, you know, committing all sorts of, you know, criminal activities, cultism, unemployment, poverty, series of things are really hitting up Nigeria deep. 
and the government of Nigeria is less concerned about it. That is why we have different agitating groups. That is why we have different secessionist groups. And these people are ready to continue to agitate until the government of Nigeria is ready to put an end to all these incessant killings and all these kidnapping for ransom of our innocent citizens. That is the best way to go about this because if we continue to keep quiet, it will be as if we are living fine and we all know that everything is not fine. Let's stop pretending and do the needful. That is what we just need in this country. You know, we don't mind people who are agitating for the restructuring of this country, of which they think is the best way to go. Why some people are saying referendum is the best way to go? Let's just divide this country and have our peace. Give us our own independence. Give us Biafra independence. We want to actualize Biafra. Give us Odudua independence. We want to actualize Odua Republic. Let us go our separate ways. Let's have our own peace. Let's manage our resources. Let's be able to protect our people. Let's be able to protect our citizens. Since we cannot continue to coexist as one Nigeria and the government of Nigeria is not ready to protect her citizens. That is the problem we have in this country. And that is why, you know, our protesters are ready to protest in any situation. They are ready to make use of any open avenue to protest just to make sure that all this agitation is made obvious. What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section on the spend development. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Obi John reacted to this and said, National Assembly that has been subdued. What is your thought about this? He said the National Assembly that has already been, been subdued. That is what you said. We should always explain our grievance to. Good News also reacted and said, Does the office of the president respect Nigerians? That is, the human rights? You know, we have heard about the federal government of Nigeria violating the fundamental human rights of her citizens. And now, it is said that we must accord the respect, you know, to the president because it is, you know, the highest office in the world the president's office is the highest office in the world and it has to be accorded its own respect now good news is saying does the office of the president that deserve respect respect the rights you know of her citizens what is your thought about this great time was reacted and said but also note that the office of the president too must respect itself for those that understand fairness in administration what is your thought about this? We have had different reactions from people. We have had different thoughts from people that says, if we must respect the president and its office, the rest, you know, the president also must respect its citizens. That is, you have to respect the fundamental human rights of your citizens. What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reactions via the conversation on this that has been said. Don't forget that we are still on the issue of the UN protest of which agitators must respect the office of the president of which people are saying that the president also must respect the fundamental human rights of our citizens thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now